Well, Nintendo is holding its cards very close to its chest when it comes to details about Breath of the Wild 2. We've had a couple of trailers, but we've only seen a snippet of gameplay so far. Well, that has led fans to scour the internet for details elsewhere outside the trailers, and some interesting details have been found about gameplay mechanics in Nintendo patents. Well, today I'm going to run through the details of the patents and discuss them with you, plus check out the footage we've already seen from the trailers and look at some predictions of what we could see in the next Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Zelda content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, first of all today, I would love to hear from you about what you think about Breath of the Wild 2 so far and what you want to see in the game. Now, if you enjoy speculating about Breath of the Wild 2, then I've got a couple of suggestions for you, including another video called Everything That We Know About Breath of the Wild 2 So Far, where I check out all the trailers and we look through them with a fine-tooth comb. Plus, I've done a roundup of the best fan theories and speculation related to Breath of the Wild 2, so if you prefer wondering what could be and getting all hyped up for the sequel to one of the best games ever, then check out those videos and let me know what you think. Well, let's dive into today's topic, and that's some Nintendo patents that give some clues to gameplay mechanics that could be found in Breath of the Wild 2. The E3 2021 trailer appears to confirm two out of three of these patents, with the final one yet to be seen in gameplay, and that is understandable because the final gameplay mechanic is very, very exciting and could be a huge differentiator for the Legend of Zelda series. So massive thank you to GameReactor.eu found all these patents and added some of the commentary. Now head on over to their website and check them out. Well, without further delay, let's have a look together at the patents. So we've got three overall, and we can back up at least two of them with gameplay footage from the trailers. Well, first of all, we've got a rewind mechanic. So the first patent looks at our rewind feature, and the patent details a barrel. This seems to suggest it going backwards. However, on the right-hand side of the diagram here, we clearly see a rewind timeline indicated, and it appears as if Link can select an object and then rewind time for a few seconds. This has absolutely huge potential for combat and puzzles in the game, and it's very, very exciting indeed. So we've already seen this feature implemented in the gameplay in the E3 2021 trailer, if only for a few seconds. If you blink, you may have missed it. So through the magic of video, we can pull out the footage and slow it down here to see what is going on. So we can see Link throw out his right hand and stop what looks to be a huge metal spike ball that is rolling down a hill at him. So Link throws out his hand and then the camera rotates around to the right and we see the path that the ball has taken. And after a few seconds, Link somehow rewinds and sends the ball back where it came from on the same path. And it looks like from the footage... Nothing else is affected by this rewind mechanic, only the object in focus, and I'm assuming that you select the object somehow, so it's going to be really interesting to see how that works. Well, next up, we've got Travelling Through Solid Matter. So this patent looks at Link's abilities to travel through the floor, or some kind of solid material. We've seen a clip from the E3 2021 trailer where Link appears to lift upwards through concrete and he burrows out of the top. Now, this was again shown during the 2022 delay trailer, where Link then presents the broken Master Sword to the glowing orb. So looking at the diagram in the patent, we see a character that's able to travel upwards and then go through a portal and appear above. The patent sets out a satisfactory condition and a couple of conditions where this wouldn't work. For example, where it does work, it looks like a flat surface is under a certain angle. There's a couple of conditions here where the portal travel method wouldn't work which includes the angle of the ground being greater than the limit, and also if the target area is too small for our character to fit into. Well, checking back on the trailer footage, we see Link travel upwards to some kind of ruin in the sky, where he makes his way through the solid concrete and crawls out the other side. You know, here it works because the surface of the floor is relatively flat, but it looks like it's not going to work on a steep hill, or if the area is too small. So given it's a wide open space, then Link is free to travel upwards. Again, this looks really, really interesting, and let me know in the comments what you think. Well, finally, we've got the most exciting one of all, and that is the prospect of aerial battles. So the final patent is one we haven't seen in gameplay yet, and perhaps for good reason, as it's going to be a massive hype builder. 
The patent suggests that Link can shoot arrows while skydiving, opening up the potential for really exciting battles in the sky. So looking at the patent, we've got three states, vertically downward, with the character diving and pointing the bow and arrow directly downwards. We've got a second state where you're diving diagonally down towards a target relative to your starting position. And then we've got a third state where Link is upward relative to the reference direction. And I think that is quite a complicated way of saying shooting relatively normally while falling from the sky. Well, in Skyward Sword, we could battle in the sky while on the back of the loft wing, but this mechanic we've just described here in the patent opens up the potential for big sky battles and points to more of Breath of the Wild 2 taking place in the sky as well as on the ground in Hyrule. So we have known for a while that we're going to be travelling between the ground of Hyrule and the floating islands in the sky, but this patent points to potential gameplay elements in the space between the ground and the sky islands and having to battle our way downwards. Now I can imagine using the second patent detailed here, travelling through solid matter and using this mechanic to get up into the sky, and rather than use a loft wing to travel down, perhaps we simply skydive and then use our paraglider to land safely on the ground, and then in the middle area there, while we're falling in the sky, we may see other flying enemies or flying opponents that we have to battle with our bow and arrow. That's really, really exciting stuff and can't wait to see this in a new trailer. So talking about a new trailer, we've seen two out of the three patents here in gameplay footage, both in the E3 2021 trailer, and we haven't yet seen the aerial combat in action, and that could very well be highlighted in the next Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. And we don't know when that is going to be at the moment. Nintendo moves much to the beat of their own drum when it comes to game announcements, but we do know that Breath of the Wild 2 is currently scheduled for Spring 2023. Also, we haven't yet had the Summer Game Show from Nintendo. We did have a big Nintendo Direct earlier in 2022, but we haven't yet had the Summer Game Show. Hopefully we're going to get something towards the end of June, as we are a little under a year away now from the scheduled release date for Breath of the Wild 2. And it's been nearly a year since we've had a major update at last year's E3. You know, I am super excited about the possibility of aerial combat in Breath of the Wild 2. You know, I can't wait to see how Nintendo's implemented that into the game. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the patents and what else you want to see in Breath of the Wild 2. I would love to hear from you and I would love to hear about your ideas. Well, that is it for this look at some groundbreaking gameplay mechanics from Nintendo patents in Breath of the Wild 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more... Legend of Zelda content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to Triforce Times. Or you can check me out on Twitter at Triforce Times. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.